Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. And here today's video. Hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. In today's video, we will talk about the angle of elevation and angle of depression. This topic is one of my favorite topics under ng trigonometry because this one is an application in solving right triangle. And integrate na rin natin dito yung topic natin about the six trigonometric ratios na pinag-aralan natin last time. By the way, ilalagay natin yung link ng ating uh, six trigonometric ratios sa ating description box at makikita nyo rin siya dito. Okay? So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, first, we need to define what is angle of elevation and the angle of depression. So, let's define first what is angle of elevation. Angle of elevation, the angle of elevation is the angle formed between the horizontal line of sight of the observer to the object above. So, in the definition here, you encountered horizontal line of sight. Later on, discuss natin yan. Tapos yung object above. Para makita natin yung angle of elevation. Next, let's move on to angle of depression. Angle of depression. The angle of depression is the angle formed. Again, angle formed between the horizontal line of sight. Ayan, meron naman tayong horizontal line of sight of the observer to the object below. So, Sana, sa first, sa definitions pa lang natin, medyo na picture out niya what is meant by angle of elevation and angle of depression. But, kung hindi pa na, na hindihan what is meant by this definition, I have here a very good drawing. I hope na ma-appreciate niyo itong aking stick man. Okay? So, this one is a, stick, is a man and this one is a flagpole without a flag. So, ngayon, sir, um, nasan po dyan yung angle of elevation and angle of depression? Explain ko muna sa inyo yung illustration ko. So normally, ang isang tao, kapag tayo naglalakad or tumitingin sa isang, tumitingin or naka-open ang ating eyes, is meron tayong, uh, meron tayong imaginary line of sight which is parallel to the ground. Okay? Parallel to the ground. At ito siya. Yung nasa gitna na, na broken line. Ang tawag dito ay horizontal line of sight. Yan. Yan yung ating horizontal line of sight. Again, the horizontal line of sight is the imaginary line. Siya yung uh, line of sight natin that is parallel to the ground. Okay? So, ngayon, to differentiate what is angle of elevation and depression at lag para mas madaling siya maintindihan, so mag-focus tayo dito. This man, let's say for example, uh, tumingin si stickman sa flagpole at yung flagpole natin ay mayroong top at bottom. So let's say for example, magpitingin ngayon si Stickman sa top part ng ating flagpole. And pag tumingin siya doon, magkakaroon siya ngayon ng imaginary line of sight papunta sa top ng flagpole. So as you can see, meron tayong horizontal line of sight at meron tayong line of sight papunta sa object above. And ito yung sinasabi dito yun eh. Uh, is the angle formed between the horizontal line of sight of the observer to the object above. Ito yung dalawang lines na tinutukoy dyan. Horizontal line of sight and the line of sight towards the object above. And since meron tayong dalawang line, meron siya nabubuong angle. This angle is your angle of Elevation. Okay? It is the angle between the horizontal line of sight and the line of sight towards the object above. Ayan yung ating angle of elevation. Yes sir, how about angle of depression? For the angle of depression naman, let's say for example, si stick mine ay tumihin sa bottom part ng ating flagpole. Siyempre, uh, meron, ta meron siyang ma-create na imaginary broken line or Line of, line of sight, line of sight. We're in between the horizontal line of sight and the line of sight towards the object below. Itong angle natin dito is your angle of depression. 
Okay? So, I hope na nakikita nyo na ngayon yung difference between the, ang the angle of elevation and angle of depression. And in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you two more examples para mas maintindihan nyo kung paano maging nagamit yung angles of elevation and angles of depression in solving real-life problems with regards to right track. Now, let us solve the first problem with regards to angle of elevation. A hiker is 400 meters away from the base of a radio tower. The angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 46 degrees. How high is the tower? So given this problem, uh, we have here the information that the hiker is 400 meters from the base of the tower. And the angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 46 degrees. So from this part, papunta sa ating tower, the angle of elevation is 46 degrees. And here's the problem. How high is the tower? We are asked about the height of this tower or this radio tower and we will represent it by the word or by the variable x. Okay? So, reimagining this one, isipin mo ngayon to solve this, isipin mo ngayon yung right triangle. With respect to your angle of elevation which is 46 degrees, this side is considered, or the height of the tower is considered as the opposite side of a right triangle. And this side, this side with regards to your angle of elevation is considered as the adjacent side of a right triangle. So isipin mo ngayon, what ratio is applicable or anong ratio yung pwede natin magamit to calculate this kind of problem. And for me, and definitely, we will be using tangent and tangent 46 degrees okay so tangent is equal to opposite your opposite side is x over the adjacent which is 400 meters so in this situation you will cross multiply them so we have your invisible denominator one so tangent 46 or 1 times x that will give you x and this one that is tangent 46 degrees times 400 meters. So basically guys, to calculate for the height of the tower, you need to press, again ha, this is your equation now, to solve for the value of x, you need to press tangent 46 degrees, tangent 46 degrees muna, and then it will give you 1 1.035530313179 times 400 meters, times 400. And that will give you x is equal to 414 point, kung nilala natin yung two decimal places, uh, 414.21 meters. Ito ngayon yung height ng ating uh, tower. The height is equal to 414.21 meters. So that's it for example number one with regards to angle of elevation. In the next part of our video, I will give you a problem that focuses on angle of depression. Now let's have example number two. An airplane is flying at the height of 4 kilometers above the ground. The distance along the ground from the airplane to the airport is 6 kilometers. What is the angle of depression from the airplane to the airport. So, dito nag-create na ako ng ating, ano, ng ating uh, illustration which is this one is your airplane and this is the, the airport. Sabi dito sa problem natin, we have uh, the airplane is 4, km, 4 kilometers above the ground and yung ating um, in distance itong part nito is 6 kilometers from the ground below the airplane to the airport is 6 kilometers. Ngayon, pinapatakong sa atin what is the angle of depression from the airplane to the airport? Ibig sabihin, ito yung angle na meron tayo. This angle. So, let's represent this angle of depression as angle theta. So, paano natin solve ngayon yan? Don't worry kasi, uh, though, yung angle of depression ang kinukuha natin, uh, we can have our imaginary triangle here. We're in. Pwede pa natin masolve yung problem. Since 4 kilometers tong part na to, ibig sabihin, 4 kilometers din to. Okay? And since ito ay 6 kilometers yung distance ng ilan ng airplane 
to the airport is 6 kilometers. This one is also 6 kilometers. So, ngayon, isipin natin, uh, anong trigonometric ratio ang gagamitin natin to solve this one? Remember, with regards to your angle theta, this is your opposite side. So, you have opposite over the adjacent side. Okay? So, isipin nyo, anong ratio yon, And that is tangent. So, nagamit na natin ngayon tangent. So, tangent theta is equal to opposite over your adjacent side. The value of your opposite side is six kilom uh, is 4 kilometers. You have 4. Okay? Over your adjacent, which is 6 kilometers. So, you have tangent theta is equal to 6 kilometers. And then, simplify nyo lang ito. You can use your scientific calculator, ha? Use your scientific calculator. We're in. You need to divide 4 by 6. It will give you 0 0.66. 0 0.6667. And para makuha niyo yung value ng angle theta, kailangan yung kunin nito. Tangent ratio negative 1. Para ma-press niyo sa inyong calculator ito, you need to press shift and then tangent 0 0.6667 and it will give you theta is equal to 33.69 degrees ito ngayon yung ating angle of depression from the airplane to the airport theta is equal to 33 0.69 degrees. So I hope na natuto kayo sa ating example on how to calculate the angle of elevation and angle of depression with regards to the real life application of right triangle in trigonometry. So I hope na kung meron kayo request sa topic is please comment down below para makita natin at magawa natin ng video if you want me to discuss within this channel. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!